welcome to episode 43 of the Pearls of Peace podcast. Today, I had a very interesting question this week that I wanted to address, and that was, a lot of people know that I am both a real estate professional, consultant, realtor, right? And so a peace and wellness advocate. My mission and my goal in life is to really support people in accessing their own internal peace and reclaiming that peace. Because one thing I know that is for sure is that we all get rocked sometimes. Anyone agree? (laughs) I know for me, sometimes I could be moving through life and things are good and then something can happen. It could be something so simple. It could be like someone cuts me off in traffic or something's going on in the world, right? Or maybe someone mentions something or does something in a way that might trigger me, right? And so at that moment, just like yourself, I have a choice, right? I can step into an empowering place where I choose to overcome and rise above whatever that situation is, or I can fall prey to feeling overwhelmed, anxiety, stress, disgruntled, frustrated, right? And this happens not just in personal life, but this happens in business, right? In fact, part of the reason I actually became a yoga teacher and a coach was because of real estate, because I felt like I wanted to be able to access more tools for my own career, my own business. And when we weren't going according to plan or showings were late, or I was getting phone calls late at night, I felt honestly very unaligned and I felt out of integrity with myself and so I slowly started to access these tools of wellness and you know having better sleep and making sure that I was uh, meditating more and doing more yoga and mindful type I should say yogic like and mindful practice mindfulness practices that also includes Reiki for me and some of you may or may not know but I'm a Reiki master and so this week I got a very interesting question from a real estate client. And it was, I'm thinking about painting my home. And um, actually, before I say client, I should say that this came from two different people. One is a client already. And the other one is considering in the future to possibly be a client. And so the question posed to me was, what paint color should I use for my wall? And should I paint? And then they went, one of the clients went down this run through of all these things that, that he was concerned about, right? Should I paint the walls? And if I do paint the walls, what color should I paint the walls? And should I put my house for rent or should I put it for sale? I mean, COVID's happening. What should I do? And my goodness, this is kind of keeping me up at night and kind of mentioned to me haphazardly that he was going through all this and wasn't sure exactly what to do. And so what's so cool about this was here was someone that knows that, you know, they they have some questions about real estate, but really feeling a little bit uh, stressed right? And losing some peace around this whole concept, this whole situation. And so what I love about community, what I love about being in community with others is that we get to remind and support each other. And so what does peace have to do with real estate? Was the question that came for me through these questions this week was if someone is a home seller or a buyer and they're looking to navigate these very interesting times in real estate, what do they do? right? Do they have people come over? Do they wear masks? Do they wait to put their house in the market? I mean, there are so many things. What started from paint color and should I paint my home this color or that color turned into a laundry list of items. And when we got down to the matter of it, it wasn't about paint at all. It was about the the feeling of having peace around, should I put my home on the market or not right now, considering there's so much going on in the world. And so what I'm really proud of and grateful for is that I get to now help navigate people through this corridor of accessing peace. And yes, oftentimes we do it on a yoga mat and we get down into, you know, beautiful angelic poses and, you know, do all this stuff. But sometimes it's not about that. Oftentimes, in fact, and I say this a lot, you might have even heard me say this once or twice, but I talk about taking your yoga off the mat. And what I mean by that is really accessing internal peace, even when you're outside in the world. And so by incorporating tools of mindfulness and yoga type 
practices and Reiki and breath work and all of these things that I teach, we bring that into our, our life. In our wealth strategies, we bring that into our lifestyle. We bring that into how we correspond with our friends, our neighbors, our community. So what does real estate have to do with peace? Well, I guess you could say that if you have more peace, you can have more peacefulness within your real estate transaction, within your real estate process and experience. And that's really what I'm all about. And so today, I just wanted to share that interesting kind of story with you because it came from a very innocent question. But when we got down to the matter of it, it really had everything to do with peace. And so today, wherever you are, I am sending you lots of peace and I'm sending you lots of reminders that you have the power to access that peace no matter where you are. And I'd love to hear from you. What brings you peace? So definitely reach out to me. Let me know how I can serve you. And I'd love to hear what brings you peace today. And remember, change comes from the inside out. Have a beautiful, blessed day. And I look forward to seeing you next week on the Pearls of Peace broadcast. Bye for now.